You've obviously handled yourself as a team first guy, despite less playing time than maybe envisioned mm -hmm. when you initially signed. You, you, you know, Chris Greer told us during the offseason we wanted you right by Cedric. Just to clarify where things stand, did you or your agent ever ask for a trade to a place where you could get more playing time? Um, no, we've never asked for a trade. And did Chris ever indicate if he was looking to trade you just to give you more of an opportunity elsewhere? Uh, I'm not sure. That was never communicated to me. And what's your state of mind here? Happy to be here still? Oh, I'm definitely happy to be here. I mean, I, um, my mindset when I left um, Dallas was to come here and put my best foot forward. And I feel like I, maybe I fell short of that last year. And that's my goal this whole offseason is to show that I can play. When you have a performance like the offense had today and, and the defense is talking and determined, especially Christian, how do you take that as a team? I mean, we're going to win and lose days. I mean, maybe we get them tomorrow, maybe we get them the next day, um, but I'm just happy the defense is on our team. Cedric, what uh, type of things did you do this offseason that you felt like you improved um, to make sure that you're ready to uh, take that next step? Uh, I feel like this offseason I definitely locked more into the playbook so I can go out there and um, just play with a more faster twitch and not just seem like I'm confused and running around. What is it about, uh, I mean, a day like today, what is it about the, the, the defensive scheme of Evangel that maybe made things hard for you guys today, and just in general? I'm, I'm not really sure of their scheme because, I mean, I don't really study um, their defense, but, I mean, he's just, Evangel, I mean, he's a, He's a goat in the league at what he has done in defense in the past. And when you put his defense with the group of guys they have out there, I mean, they're flying around you. You're watching them just like we are. Cedric, when you, when you don't have a season that you wanted to have like last year, <coughs> what, what happens to your off-season approach? Do you, do you think about that every day and, and use it as motivation? Or do you wipe the slate clean and just say, new year, I'm, I'm going to do what I need to do? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say I use negative to um, go into my training. Uh, I just go out in the off season. I train like I normally do, make sure I'm eating right and working out and just make sure the best ability is availability and making sure I'm staying healthy. And um, when the ball comes my way, it's what I do best is catch it. And I think there are opportunities here, not only obviously because Trent moved on, but also with Kaseki moving on. You know, he was a pseudo receiver at times. Are you getting more opportunities in that role? We asked Eric about that yesterday. Uh, I mean, you're going to see my opportunities when they come up, and when the, when the ball comes my way, I'm going to catch the ball.